Poop and your piss. This is basically just so I don't get crushed. Oh, there we go. Really good considering you're towing basically a house. Me and Chris decided to do a fall fall foliage trip. So we'll be taking a trip all the way to the northern side of the east coast and all the way down to the southern part of the east coast. Not all the way. Well, about North Carolina, South Carolina area. Chris will be joining us, but before we do all that, there's a lot of preparation that has to go in to getting ready and be ready for the trip. And one of it is change the oil on the truck, clean the motorhome, clean the camper, and get it all ready for the trip. Just so clean now. So the last thing I do before I give you guys the tour is I have to change the oil in the truck. I gotta find all the tools in this garage. It's pretty uh pretty packed in there, but we'll be good. So we're gonna change the oil, change the oil filter, and then we're almost ready to go. This is basically just so I don't get crushed. Oh, there we go. All right, that is all done. All of the oil has been changed. Added more coolant, added more washer fluid. So basically everything is ready to go in the truck. It's cleaned, ready to go. Cleaned the camper last night. So now, let's give you that tour we promised you. So, as promised, I'll do a room tour, a little trailer tour, show you what we'll be traveling in. It's a 30-foot Coachman from 2005. It's actually my dad's camper he bought, so when we're working up at the motocross track, that we get to sleep with heat and air conditioning in case it gets too hot or too cold. So you have all your silverware drawers here, different accessories for cooking and barbecuing, and then just a miscellaneous drawer at the bottom. We have the sink, double sink. We have the water pump, water heater. So battery life, low, fresh, low, black, two thirds. Black is basically, basically what it is, is it has black water and gray water. Black water is all your poop and your piss. And then your gray water is your sink water. What you do your dishes with, what you brush your teeth with. If you have hose water and you're okay with drinking hose water, which it's, okay to drink here in the US. You could always drink the hose water out of the faucet, but we'll just do bottled water. So you can check all your levels here. Make sure that you got enough. Three light switches. So you have the exterior light. A little orange light. The two interior lights. We got all our dishes up here above the sink. We have a fan for the oven top, a microwave. We have three burners on the stove and then an oven. Store all our pots and pans here. This is just extra storage, garbage bags and things like that. Or a big freezer and refrigerator. So it's nice, we can basically fit everything we need for about a week and a half, two weeks. I'm actually gonna pack most of it tomorrow so i'll be recording a video on what we pack because we're going to be going into some pretty remote areas and uh i'm not too sure how the weather is going to be so we got enough for the freezer and the fridge that way we can cook our own food because we'll be kind of in back country that way we don't have to really worry about running out of food or water we have three bunks so any of you guys want to join the trip three bunks 
fold down table. This folds down into a bed. Then we have the couch, which also folds down into a bed. Some closet space. Some jackets, shoes, things like that. Drawer for socks and everything. Behind door number one is the bathroom. So you have the toilet. Flush handles here. Toilet paper, spare place for toilet paper and soap. Underneath the sink, spare storage. With the sink. And a full shower. It's actually really nice to have a full shower, especially after you're done hiking and doing everything in the woods, you get the opportunity to get a nice shower in. So me, the vanity, toothbrushes, face wash, bug spray, deodorant, comb everything like that i don't think i'll be combing my hair anytime soon considering i just got five staples so if you follow me on instagram you'll see that i just got five staples in my head and the dog kind of got a little messed up too this weekend at the race oh, um so we have some overhead storage here for different breads and chips and things like that some canned goods this is all this is all actually still packed from when we went racing this weekend. So there's still steaks and stuff in the fridge from when we were cooking this weekend. Some shortcake, some sauces, things like that. You have a TV. And then you also have an antenna. So you can crank this up. And then above you on the roof, you actually can get all your analog channels like most of the time we get about 20 to 30 different channels depending on where we are can't go anywhere without some coffee a lot of things have changed in my life but my coffee addiction has not we got some fresh water for drinking and then the bottled water of course this is really nice because it's got a cd player and you can plug in your phone to listen to music through the big speakers there's like one two three four four interior speakers actually five and six interior speakers in the master bedroom there's two and then there's three on the outside as well so this when you're driving actually slides all the way in to about right here so here's the button and then the entire thing slides in <laughs> you got to make sure everything's out of the way before you slide it in but hit the button. So this is basically what it looks like all slid in and ready to go on the road. So you have about a foot and a half, two feet to walk down the center of the actual camper. You can still get to the fridge, you can still get to the bathroom, you can still get to the bunks, master bedroom, and everything. So when you're driving and stopping at different different rest stops, you can still get the stuff you need out of the camper, but it allows you to drive down the road with no problem. We have the air conditioner and heat, including fan right here. And then we have the master bedroom, which has a table on it right now. But Master bedroom, you have all your storage up here, your master bed. There is actually storage underneath this bed as well. Can't really lift it right now, not by myself, and not with this table on it. But you have some plugs and outlets by both sides of the bed, his and her outlets. You have lights up there, lights up here, lights all around the inside. And it's super spacious when you actually kick out the slide out. When the slide out's in, it's not so spacious, but it's nice because this actually, when driving the truck, we should get about 14 miles a gallon, which is really good, about 12 to 14 with the trailer on the truck. So it's really good considering you're towing basically a house. With that being said, this is a quick rundown. I'll show you how we pack it, what we're bringing for tools, and spare tires and things like that so that if anything does go wrong that we'll actually be able to fix it ourselves or at least continue on the journey till we get somewhere that we can get it fixed um, so we have a bunch of stuff that I'll put in the next video that will show you exactly what we're packing 
We have some new merch coming out. So we have, this is the hottest design. This is our number one selling design. Just simple, simplistic design in the center. So we got this, and then we have a new color of the long sleeve. We have two new colors of the long sleeve with this design. We have black, and then we have like a light baby blue, which is super nice. It's really unique because we had the red. Now we have the blue and the black to go with it. So if you're interested in any of those shirts or any of the merchandise that we have available, you can check the website listed down below. And the new stuff will be out right after we get pictures for the new stuff on this trip. So it's super nice and convenient that I already own this. Well, my dad already owns this. So he's allowing me and Chris to just take this all the way up the East Coast. Now, we will be going to Connecticut, Maine, Massachusetts, Boston, I think, North Carolina, Virginia, and I'll be staying in North Carolina. Chris will be flying out from North Carolina to New York. And then you're going to have to go to his channel to actually see what's coming on his channel. He has some really, really big plans, which I'm not quite ready to travel that far yet. So doing this trip, I've never seen the fall colors in these places. So we're going to hit all of these places, do the different foods, try all the different state delicacies, and get to see and experience all the maximum fall colors all the way down the east coast so it's kind of why we planned it for the middle of september if you go up to vermont the peak fall colors and are in middle of december and then as you go down south it gets later and later so we should be peak fall colors all the way down to virginia and north carolina border once we get there we'll do the blue ridge parkway and then i'll go stay in anderson or right outside anderson with one of my best friends that i grew up racing with spend some time with him and Chris is going to fly out from there to go to a really crazy place that I've always wanted to visit. So thank you guys for the continued love and support that you guys have been following me on the journey. He just got the golf cart fixed, so we got to take a ride. Woo! See you guys in the next one.